Hello and welcome to a new episode of Loxone Explained, the video format for all tech enthusiasts, Loxone partners, and those wanting to become automation installers. Many of us ask themselves the same question every morning. What's the weather going to be like today and what should I wear? The first of these two questions can be answered by your Loxone building right when you wake up after a good night's sleep. With the lighting, you choose. In the future, you'll no longer have to reach for your smartphone in the morning to pull up the weather forecast for the day. Your Loxone building will wake you up with the colored light that matches the weather of the day, so you know immediately what weather to expect and how to choose your clothing. The basis for this is our weather service, which passes on precise weather and forecast data to the mini server. A total of 29 different weather types are stored in the weather service. For example, we chose the weather type 1 for cloudless, 4 for very cloudy, and 11 for rainy. Of course, you can completely customize this yourself. A complete list of all weather types can be found in the online documentation of our weather service. Depending on whether it's clear, cloudy, or rainy in the next hours, we let our LED spots shine orange, magenta, or blue. And we solve this with different lighting moods. The LED spots are activated with the first movement in the room within the defined time window of, for example, 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. Of course, this time can also be adjusted individually. As a highlight, we also define a text-to-speech message that reminds us to take an umbrella when there is a forecast of rain. Don't forget your umbrella. And this is how it's all programmed in the config. We first take the lighting controller function block and create three different moods, giving each of them a corresponding ID, orange, magenta, and blue. We also connect our presence sensor. Likewise, we add the schedule function block and define the time when the light should shine in the corresponding color, 6.30 to 7.30. At the end of the running time, the schedule block sends a pulse to the off input of the lighting controller, so that it switches back to normal lighting mode. The weather service provides accurate data either on the current weather or the weather at a specific time. Therefore, we can now create weather data for the respective time of the forecast with the data type weather type. So, the weather currently, in one hour, two hours, and so on. As long as we just want to have the forecast. For example, 12 hours. Now, we create a separate page for each of the three weather types we want to have displayed. For each hour of weather data, we insert an equal function block and connect the weather data to its input. In the equal block, we define the number of the weather type we want to request like, for example, 1 for cloudless, 4 for very cloudly, and 11 for rainy. In addition, we take an OR block, which we connect to the current weather and to each output of the equal blocks. Now, we insert an AND function block, to whose inputs we connect the OR function block, as well as the schedule block. Finally, we create an operation mode for the current weather situation, which we connect to the output of the AND function block. Briefly summarized, we now ask if the weather is clear at the moment or if it will be clear at least once within the next 12 hours. And if yes, and if we are in the corresponding switching time due to the schedule block, the operating mode clear is started. Back in the lighting controller block, we now define the priority with which the lighting scenes are switched on according to operational modes. In our example, the highest priority is rain. So if clear as well as cloudy and rainy, Weather conditions are expected within the next 12 hours. The light will be switched on with blue for rain. However, you can set this individually according to your needs. Now, we still need to configure the text-to-speech message that should remind us of the umbrella. And for this, we take the block switch off delay and connect the presence sensor. We set the switch off delay to 5 minutes. Then, we insert a status block to which we connect the operating mode for rain as well as the switch off delay. And in the status block, we now define that both circumstances must occur, which means that both the switch off delay and the operating mode rain are active. If so, our self-defined text is output as TTS. To do this, we simply link a reference to the audio block in the room of choice. If you like this video, then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you'll not miss any videos in the future. And if you are professionally involved in automation projects yourself, then we would love for you to join us in making the world a greener place.
Thanks for watching and see you next time.